Hey guys, it is Tanya, Thrifty Treasures, and I just wanted to come on today and make a confession, so to speak. It's pretty embarrassing, but um, I've got to know that I'm not the only one, right? And I want you to know that you're not the only one. So in the business that we're in reselling, it is so easy to go out and uh, source, if you will, uh, buy stuff to resell. But you also have to remember that you need to put in the time to take pictures of that stuff and list it as well. Um, and lately I've just been finding myself buying and buying and buying and I'm not putting in equal amount of time to get my items listed as well. So um, I think what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try this out for just like a week and see how it goes. And, um, and I did this the other day with all those uh, musical snow globes that I listed. I only listed that and it kind of went pretty fast. And I've heard other people talk about doing, listing all the same things as well. So with me, I love to buy the jewelry. I love to buy the books. I love to buy the clothes. I love the men's Hawaiian shirts. I've got a whole bunch of those right now I need to get listed. Um, I love to buy shoes. I love to buy one-offs. So I, I really am a jack of all trades. So I love to buy and sell everything really if I can make a profit off of it. So um, I spent last Saturday organizing a lot of my jewelry like by bracelets, by watches, earrings, rings, just trying to get everything all sorted out. So when I do go to list it, I can take one bin and list only that. So, um, and I have a whole bunch of belts that I need to get listed too. So I keep buying all this stuff and I'm like, and I'm not even kidding y'all, it's so embarrassing. I can't even, I have, I'm like a hoarder in my eBay room. I cannot even walk in there. I have a little path carved out to where I can walk and get around, but it is, it is ridiculous. Like I wanted to put one of my uh, smaller Christmas trees in my eBay room so that when I am in there working, I can enjoy the tree and how pretty it is and look at the lights and stuff. Um, but I don't even have a place in my room right now to set up my tree. So it's just ridiculous. And I tell you what, I have been, for the past three nights, I have just been shutting it down at 9 p.m. Because I'm, I don't want to say I'm depressed, but I'm just, I'm so overwhelmed. I just don't even know, I don't even know where to start. And instead of dealing with it, I just shut it down and go to bed. So, um... You know, and my husband has been noticing, my kids are like, what, you're going to bed? You know, usually I'm up to like 12 o'clock every night uh, doing stuff, but I've just, oh, I don't know. I've got to get a grip on this and quit being this way. So, um, and the reason I'm making this confession and telling you guys this is because um, I want you to know that you're not the only one who suffers with this. Like. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I definitely have FOMO, fear of missing out. If um, I am not, you know, hitting the Goodwills every single day, I'm like, I'm like biting my nails. You know, I've, I've got to be constantly sourcing because I'm scared I'm going to miss out on something. And um, that's fine. You can go and do those things. I could probably hit all three Goodwills in my area and usually probably be home by about 1030 in the morning. And that still leaves me a ton of time during the day to get stuff listed but it's not just ebay stuff right i have house stuff to do too so you know i've got cleaning to do i have laundry to do picking up um it's just never ending you know i got to figure out what am i going to cook for dinner are we going to go get takeout tonight so being a mom and being a reseller there is definitely a lot to juggle and if you guys have any tips for how you um organize your stuff or organize your day i would love to hear it I've even completely foregoed making lists anymore. I don't even do that because it's like, I don't even stick to it. And I find myself not getting out to my antique booth as much. Um, and I really should be spending some more time out there. I actually did have a really good month last month. I profited $200. So that was really good. And then this, not this Friday, but next Friday is Black Friday, I believe. And so we're starting a real big sale at the antique mall. And everybody, every booth gets to choose what percentage they want to have off. Well, I originally signed up to do 40. Um, but then when we went up there last weekend, I saw how well, you know, I was doing. And I'm just ready to blow stuff out. Like, if it hasn't sold in a year or two, it's time to get my money back and move on so I can buy new stuff. So 
I changed it from 40 to, so now I'm doing 50% off. So that sale is going to be good all the way through, um, I think till Christmas time, like the end of December. So I'm excited for that. I'm not going to bring up any new stuff. I'm just going to keep marking stuff whenever I buy it and I have a little bin that I'll just put all my stuff that's going to go to the antique booth in January and hopefully I can just start fresh again. But so I just wanted to come on and uh, let you guys know uh, what's been going on with me. If I seem a little off, I'm just overwhelmed. So I'm um, going to try and just, um, you know, knock it out little by little, quit sourcing big stuff so much if it's not going to my antique booth. And, um, you know, that's just money sitting around on the ground, right? And whenever I look at it that way, it just makes me mad. And it's like, I need to, I need to get my money back, make a profit off of it and move it. So I'd love to hear your story, how you cope with um, any hoarding that you might have. Um, so let me know. So if you like this video, please subscribe, uh, give me a like and share it with your friends and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching y'all. Bye.